from the previous tutorial, we talked about the order of precedence with the mathematical operators in Python. Now, we can throw that all out the window now because now we're going to learn how to completely screw it up and use our own manual uh, order of precedence. Now, I said it was important to, to learn the order of precedence, um, and I'm going to show you why here in a second. But manually changing it is also a good good practice because this way you can ensure the equation is going to run the way you want to. And I tend to do that a lot in my programs just to enforce, hey, this is how I want the equation to run. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Let's do 5 <clears throat> uh, exponent 2 plus 9. All right, we get 34. Okay, so what happened there? Well, the easiest way to find out is exponent runs first and then addition. So remember, this was level 1 and this was level 3. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. 5 exponent 2, we get 25. Then we go 25 plus 9, we get 34. All right, we got 34. Pretty cool, right? But what happens if we want to run the um, 2 plus 9 first? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. 5 exponent and then we're going to use parentheses 2 plus 9 parentheses all right so the precedent uh, the parentheses say hey run this first and then run the rest of the equation all right so it's going to run 2 plus 9 first which gives us 11 so we hit return look at that number all right that is a very large number number that's way off 34 now if you're writing like a financial software for someone you screwed up and someone's going to be really angry with you. So understanding the order of precedence and also understanding how to use the manual way of changing the order is very important. It's also very important to test your software before you give it to anybody. But, uh, all right, so let's take uh, another look at um, another one. So let's go ahead and do, um, let's do 5, 5 plus 4 minus... And then in here, we're going to do another parentheses, 2 times 5, parentheses, parentheses. We return, we get negative 1. So what happened there? Well, <clears throat> this equation, even if we didn't have the parentheses, I just realized this one's going to run anyway. But what happened? We got 2 times 5, all right, because we got the most inner parentheses runs first. 2 times 5 gives us 10. And then it's going to run left to right. 5 plus 4 is 9 minus 10 we get negative 1 all right so let's go ahead and take another look at another one since I didn't do do that one properly what I was going for 6 um, exponent 2 plus and here we're gonna do 4 minus 5 and close it out Let's take a look at this one. We get 35. So what happens here? Well, the parentheses in here is going to run first, okay? Um, and then this one's going to run, and then whatever this gets is going to add to that. So let's go ahead and run it. Uh, 4 minus 5, we get negative 1, all right? 6 exponent 2, we get 36. So negative 1, uh, we get plus 36 is 35 all right so I hope you guys are understanding this we control the presidents with the parentheses and then um, once once the parentheses run then it goes into its order of presidents default order which exponents first and then next level will be multiplication true division floor division modulo or remainder however you want to refer to that one and then third level or final last level is addition and subtraction if you got any questions leave a comment on mastercode.online in our form and if not i'll see you in the next one where we talk about comparison operators see you then